Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, instead of talking about the current state of antivirus software, we're going to be talking about its future instead, especially when it comes to quantum computing challenges. In today's ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity, the emergence of quantum computing brings us both opportunities and complex challenges. Quantum computers have the potential to revolutionize a lot of industries, but they also threaten the foundations of traditional encryption algorithms, including those protecting antivirus technologies. And since the quantum era is right around the corner, it is really important to explore the implications of quantum computing on antivirus solutions and look for strategies to ensure the continued security of digital systems which is what this video is all about. But before we get into that, since we're on the topic of antivirus software, if you don't already have one or are looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend, along with some discounts in the description down below. So make sure to check them out. Okay, so basically speaking, quantum computers use the principles of quantum mechanics, allowing them to perform complex computations at speeds exceptionally faster than classical computers. While this promises remarkable advancements in fields such as cryptography, optimization, and artificial intelligence, it also puts security infrastructure built in classical computing principles at risk. One of the most significant threats to cybersecurity that quantum computing brings to the table is its ability to break widely used encryption algorithms. Traditional cryptographic protocols such as RSA and ECC depend on the difficulty of certain mathematical problems, like factoring large numbers to secure communication and data. However, quantum computers with their ability to perform a parallel computation could easily and efficiently solve these problems, making existing encryption methods useless. So where do antivirus software stand in the quantum age? Well, antivirus software plays a crucial role in protecting digital systems by detecting, preventing, and mitigating the impact of malicious software. However, the efficacy of these tools relies heavily on the effectiveness of encryption protocols. As quantum computing advances, the cryptographic foundations of antivirus solutions become really vulnerable highlighting the need for a shift in the approach to digital security. Most antivirus programs currently rely on encryption protocols that are susceptible to attacks facilitated by quantum computers. For example, malware developers armed with quantum capabilities could potentially decrypt sensitive information, compromise user data, and exploit vulnerabilities in the digital infrastructure. This shift in the threat landscape is basically what demands a proactive response from the cybersecurity community. Now, before we go on to talk about quantum safe encryption, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, Having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files the Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint, instant data leak notifications with Surfshark Alert, and Surfshark Alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. Okay, so as a response to the quantum threat, researchers and cybersecurity experts are actively developing quantum safe or post-quantum encryption algorithms. These solutions aim to withstand the computational power of quantum computers and ensure the continued confidentiality and integrity of digital communication. Implementing these quantum safe encryptions in antivirus solutions is extremely important for adapting to the changing landscape. 
Antivirus developers must collaborate with cryptographers to integrate quantum-safe algorithms that can withstand any quantum attack. With that being said, such a transition does not come without its fair share of challenges. And that's because quantum safe algorithms usually require different computational approaches and may be more resource intensive than their traditional counterparts. An example of these resource challenges is the quantum resistant algorithm may demand increased computational power and storage, impacting the efficiency of antivirus programs on existing hardware. And so, Striking a balance between security and performance is really important to ensure that quantum-safe antivirus solutions stay accessible and practical for users across a bunch of devices and platforms. Also, as the quantum-resistant algorithm landscape evolves, achieving interruptibility and standardization have become just as important. Antivirus solutions, often operating within a diverse ecosystem of devices and platforms, must adapt standardized quantum-safe encryption methods to make sure there is seamless communication and collaboration. And so establishing industry-wide standards will help in the integration of quantum-safe antivirus solutions into the broader cybersecurity framework. Other than that, we have quantum key distribution, also known as QKD, which can also be used as a countermeasure to quantum threat. QKD uses the principles of quantum mechanics to establish secure communication channels by detecting any eavesdropping attempts. And so, integrating QKD into antivirus solutions provides an additional layer of protection against quantum attacks. Okay, so with that being said, the transition to quantum-resistant antivirus solution needs a collaborative effort from a lot of stakeholders, including antivirus developers, cryptographers, policymakers, and even you, the end users. First of all, antivirus companies should invest in research and development to stay ahead of quantum curve and look for more innovation in quantum safe technologies. Second of all, education and awareness are essential components of a resilient cybersecurity strategy. End users must be informed about the implications of quantum computing and digital security and the measures being taken to work around these risks. Here, antivirus companies can play a big role in educating their user base fostering a sense of shared responsibility in the face of evolving cyber threats. Other than that, give the global nature of cyber threats, international cooperation, and regulatory frameworks can be just as important for addressing the challenges posed by quantum computing. Policymakers and regulatory bodies should work together to establish standards for quantum safe encryption and to make sure there is a cohesive and coordinated approach to cybersecurity in the quantum era. And that's basically it for today's video on the future of antivirus software when it comes to quantum computing. Now, if you're still looking for an antivirus, don't forget to check out the links in the description below for some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend, along with some discounts. Also, if you like the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments, as I love interacting with you guys. That will be all for today. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.